Hey guys, it's GameStar VGC, and today we are going to be looking at a team that I created that I literally have not lost with. I, I mean it in a specific way where the coverage that this team gets with itself is so amazing, and I haven't lost on ladder with this. So, um, in the past matches, so this is going to be uh, this. This is a very good chance of being a no loss video but um it might not uh so yeah so let's just get into the team first thing to point out is brute bonnet goldango now in the orlando or san diego regionals one of the two a duo that was just everywhere was amingus and goldango and uh now via the series two i switched it to brute bonnet and goldango the idea is um brute bonnet slash amingus but brute bonnet for this uses Rage Powder, and Doldango sets it up, and then you can use Pollen Puff to heal Doldango, and uses Sport for support, and also gets Clear Smog to beat Don Dozos. So this set can, uh, can just deal with so much as a supportive set. Um, uh, although, technically a Steel Grass type, uh, so yeah, as in, never mind, never mind. Um, and because it does get the, its best move is Pollen Puff. But we're small just for on dozers, as I pointed out. So yeah. Um and then just modest defenses investment. But yeah. And then I have Goldango. Um as I said it has nasty plot. The idea is to just um the brute on it does a double rage powders, you get one or two nasty plots off, you spam make it rains or shadow balls. And because of how common Arcanine is, I gave it a Aka Berry, so it only it takes like less than half from a flare blitz. So yeah, uh and then I just have um, Iron Bundle and Fluttermane, which is a really common duo now. And the idea is, because of Iron Bundles being so fast, Iron Bundles get an Icy Wind off immediately. Then, because the Fluttermane doesn't have as much speed investment, then the Fluttermane can be so much faster if the other team has Icy Wind. And then it also allows you to, like, um, run Imprison and Trick Room. Trick Room um, is just to have Imprison work better. And then in prison is able to just seal other anyone else from using Trick Room. So against Trick Room teams, I'm gonna be leading Fluttermane for that reason to use in prison. So yeah. Um and then I have Gale Wings, Talent Flame with Covert Cloak, Tailwind, Brave Bird Will with and Flare Blitz, and Max Attack, Max Speed. The idea for this is to just get Tailwind support and um sometimes get priority Brave Birds, but uh, then, and also just roll with to, like, take out Iron Hands or other physical attackers. So, yeah. Um, then finally, we have Deli Drum Iron Hands with Citrus Berry and Terra Fire. Now, this Iron Hands just is a monster. Like, Iron Hands is just insane. Like, you get Fade Down off. Like, something that I've seen work really well, uh, well, in my time playing with this, is that Goldengo and Iron Hands is a really good weed because you fake out into a nasty plot, and then the next turn you can just belly jump, citrus berry heals iron hands, you're at plus four, then you can just spam drain punches, and because you're incredible bulk, you don't take much damage. And then with Doldango, you can just either get a couple nasty plots every once in a while, and just spam make it rains and shadow balls. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to point out as a good duo. And uh, yeah, let's just get into the battles. Okay, it looks like this team is a Fluttermane and Arcanine, Amoongus, Palafin, Roaring Moon, and Baxcalibur. So they do have Trick Room in Trick Room in Roaring Moon. So I might bring Talon Flame in the back for this. Um, it's looking like Brute Bonnet Goldango can be good here because, um, except for the Arcanine, not these things can't really do much. So, uh, and then we have the answer for the Arcanine with Aka Berry. Um, I think Talonflame, I just need Talonflame to counter their Tailwind. And I think I need Fluttermane because of the consistency here. So Iron Hands and Iron Bundle aren't going to be on this one. Oh, yes, Roaring Moon, so they're trying to get Instant Tailwind and Health and set up. So they're not applying offensive pressure early on. So what I can do is Rage Powder into Nasty Plot, in case they are applying, like, the Terra Flying Acrobatics 
roaring. Nope, they're just protecting. Protect. British powder. The Flip. Okay, yes, yes, yes. It got redirected by rage powder. Of course, of course. Boy, they're bringing in the intimidate mon. Get another rage powder. Get another nasty plot. Then, um, the Roaring Moon might take out Blue Bonnet with, you know, the... Just don't flinch. Just don't flinch. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna bring in the Talon Flame, because these things both outspeed me, apparently. So I'm gonna get that priority Tailwind. And then, Terra Steel make it rain. Oh, yes, they're switching. They can't e-speed. They can't e-speed. Tailwind? Make it rain. Make it rain should Teo win. Oh, it, it Teo's the Roaring Moon, and I'll uh, speed the Palafin next turn anyway, so the only thing we'll be able to do is Jet Punch. Wait, the ring on the Arcanine. Again, they Intimidate. Um, I am still at max health, so I'm just gonna do Priority Brave Bird and make it rain. Make it rain, we'll take out Palafin. Hopefully do a very good chunk. Oh, actually, wait. No, I'm gonna do priority Brave Bird into Palafin, and then Shadow Ball the Arcanine with Boy Terra Water, Brave Bird Teos, and then I'll be able to Shadow Ball and Teo the Arcanine. And they forfeit, yeah. This is what you can do with this team. This team is just insane. Okay, okay, okay. They they have they have three fake out users. So um, I'm gonna lead Brute Bonnet Goldango for this again because they have so many phase out users. So, uh, Brute Bonnet Goldango here because I do have Terra Ghost on Brute Bonnet and Goldango's immune anyway. Um, the only Tailwind Center they have is Iron Juggy League. So, I don't think I need Tailwind here because all of their mons are like slow mons except for the Iron Juggy League. And Palafin and Tinkaton. But, like, the Tinkaton isn't gonna. You know what? Yeah, they, most of the team is small ones, actually. Um, so. I think I might just want to bring Iron Bundle Fluttermane. Actually, no, I think I'm gonna bring Iron Hands in the back and then. Bundle. I need Bundle for against the Palafin. Okay, so it looks like I brought Sableye and Palafin. I'm gonna Terra Dose to be immune, and then Rage Powder, and then get a nasty plot off. And by the way, if you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe and like the video, so, um, because that would just, it makes my day when I get a new subscriber, and, yeah. So just thank you, if you would do that. Okay, get the Terra Ghost. Oh, wait, it was not a mate, it was not a, oh, oh, wait, they close combat with the Palafin. That. The Terra Ghost ended up coming clutch anyway. So, again, I'm gonna get another nasty plot off. Because you know, they can't do double white spin. Okay, the ring in hands. You get another fake out user. Oh, your age pattern got disabled. I want to spore the Sableye. And then you make it rain. I just really want to get some Teos and make it rain. Which we need to think it's on. Which we need to think it's on. Make it rain sh well, with 3x missiles. How does that do 20%? I want to know how that does 20%. I, I, I sincerely want to know that. Wait, anyway, I'm just going to shadow ball the iron hands. And then uh, spore the iron hands. Raise your grass. So, ooh, they. I should have pollen puffed, but yeah. Anyway, yeah, Wild Charge does Teo. But because one of their mons is asleep and the other one's weak to pollen puff, I can just get Belly Drum off and then I'll just take out Tinkaton next turn. Oh, okay. 
get a belly drum, get the citrus berry, and hopefully Pollen Puff does some decent damage. Nope, it's 14%. So the Tinkaton has been asleep for two turns. So I'm just for the Sableye and then Drain Punch the Tinkaton. Oh, wait, the Tinkaton's still asleep. That, that I, did, I was not expecting that thing to stay asleep for so long. Okay, okay. Uh, Disable's ended. So that means that I can allow Iron Hands to just go crazy. Terra Ghost helped me so much this match. Okay, okay, okay. So, I can haul in buff hands. And I can then... You know, Palm Plus is gonna KO. I'm just gonna Thunder Punch the boy. Thunder Punch KOs. Pollen Puff KOs. Oh, wait, no, it does not KO. Sorry. Doesn't KO. My Iron Hands is faster than their Iron Hands. Oh, wait, so Pollen Puff did 12%, so I should be able to KO it. And then Thunder Punch will just one shot Palafin. Thunder Punch one shots. Hall and Puff KOs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next match. Okay, okay. Let's see here. We've done... Oh, this could be a pure power Metatram team, which I'm worried about. They could be, like, pure powering the Roaring Moon, which would just be a nightmare. So... I think Rubonic Goldango is again the lead, because Roaring Moon is a threat, and I know that plus two slash plus three Major Rain does KO Roaring Moon, so, uh, yeah, um, and then I think because they do have the possibility of Tailwind on a lot of things, I'm gonna bring Talonflame and get our own Tailwind, and because their team's so offensive, I don't think Iron Hands is gonna do much, and because of King Gambit, I yeah, I think Iron Bundle is the best choice here. Okay, Metachan and Rotom Heat. So I don't think this is a pure power skill swap team. I think they're actually using Metacham. So I made Terra Ghost to be like immune to a fighting move if they're gonna hit me with one, and resist their psychic moves if they're gonna hit me with one. So and then Rage Powder, and then I'm just gonna nasty plot. That should disrupt them for a turn. And although Rotom Heat can do some stuff here, I think it because it won't be super effective with the Ghost. I think, and because of my defensive investments, I think that, uh, I think that Rubonic can do well here, so. Terra Ghost Rage Powder. I, I got a Choice Scarf. At least I'm into Coast Combat, and I still get to choose which move I do. Which is gonna be Rage Powder, because Rage Powder is still the most helpful. Overheat goes in. Overheat does that much. Nasty plot gets up. Um, I'm just gonna rage powder again and then make it rain. Because Murkrow's fallen, I think setup mons are so great now. Uh okay, overheat again. Make it rain should double tail. Oh okay, wait, they resist that one. But the other one's sash, so I'm just gonna rage powder again. Get another Make It Rain, and then next turn I'll Shadow Ball Rotom Heat. I survived that overheat again. I really think they're gonna switch out the Rotom next, though. Again, Rage Powder. Again, wait. So how much damage did Make It Rain do? So they lost 40%. I think actually Make It Rain will KO Rotom Heat, and I want to do more damage to Volcarona. Wait, they do a Volt Switch out. Good, good play by them, actually. Yeah, good play by them. But now I am at a lower special attack, so 
Because I just use I've spammed Make It Rain so much that I've actually that I actually got to low special attack or like less well less than what I'm normally at for special attack. Oh, if Roaring Moon comes in, I don't have D-Dream, so that's not that helpful, but I think I should do some good damage to Roaring Moon. That's such good damage to Roaring Moon. Quiver Dance does go up. So, I'm gonna need to bring in Talonflame for the Priority Tailwind, so that way I can KO the Roaring Moon and get some decent damage off onto the Volcarona. And then maybe I'll switch out into the Iron Bundle and just get some good damage off. Because right now, I uh, the Pokemon-wise, it's tied. Health-wise, I'm winning. Because the Rotom is at such low health. And um, the Roaring Moon's at very low health. And the Volcarona's only at like 50%. Oh, they're trying to just spam Quiver Dances. And that could be very bad. So I'm going to get Priority Brave Bird. And I'm getting a nasty plot. Priority Brave Bird KOs. Nasty plot gets up. They're trying to get their tailwind too. Good play by them. Uh, let's get a. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna KO both these things. Um, whether I'm just gonna flare with the Warring Moon and make it rain. Make it rain should KO both of them. Because I'm at two X special attack, it should KO the Roaring Moon, and it should KO the Road of Heat as well. But Okaberry Goldengo is so clutch. I might not have won without that though. I might not have won without the Okaberry there. Nah, Iron Bundle still would have done really well there. So yeah, it it just goes to show how strong this team is. I, I haven't even gotten to play with the Iron Bundle yet because of how strong it was. Okay. This is why I have group on it to deal with Dondosa teams. This is why I have group on it. Um, let's see here. So I have the Fluttermane and they have the Fluttermane King Gambit. I don't have any fighting moves on this team. Oh wait, I do win Iron Hands. And because King Gambit's such an issue, I think Bonnet Goldango with Iron Hands and because their team is very slow other than for Fluttermane, I don't think I need Tailwind. And which which Pokemon do I think does better here? I think Talonflame can be useful for Priority Brave Bird and for Will Wisping stuff. But then my only damage is in Goldengo. So if Goldengo gets taken out, I think I'm gonna bring Fluttermane actually because if Goldengo gets taken out, then I need something to fall back on offensively. So. Yeah. They have Rubonic Goldengo, they have Fluttermane, King Gambit. Uh, what's Rage Powder, Nasty Plot. Then I, I might spring into action with the Make It Rain next turn so that Fluttermane can't do much damage. So, and, and I can just get a quick KO before something big happens, so. Oh, wait, so they're trying to get some D Gleams. Get a Nasty Plot. They use Assurance. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just... Oh, wait, it saved on Dojo in the back. I'm, I'm gonna need to switch into hands because it's so tanky. And then we have the Terra Steel make it rain. The Dream. Ooh, that is super effective against hands. But I do get Citrus Berry up. And I do get Make It Rain up, which should one-shot Flutter Main. And it, and it was a critical hit. Ooh, Assurance does do good damage there. Oh yeah, I'm bringing in this. If they bring in something other than Tatsugiri or Dondozo, I am probably gonna win. So if they bring in the Dardanaco or Palmot, I think I'm good. Oh, they brought in the Palmot. They, 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 they're not bringing Dondozo here. They're not bringing Dondozo. Yes, 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 yes. Wait, oh, I'm gonna fake out the King Gambit. And I'm gonna D-Gleam. Oh, they they used Fake Out onto my Fake Out user. Oh yeah, we see a super effective hit there. 
but Ironhead will, uh, Ironhead does KO. <clears throat> I think the best thing for me to do here is, uh, is belly drum into rage powder. Uh, this, this might be a long shot, but if I actually do this well, <gasps> Revival Blessing on Palmut. Oh, wait, Water Rain isn't too big of a deal for this. Oh, wait, Ironhead does KO. They're, they're totally gonna outspeed me and get a KO, so. What I do is Drain Punch the King Gambit. That's my only shot. Yeah, Sucker Punch does KO. Eh, it's the first loss. It's fine. I, it's fine. This team is still really strong. I just didn't pilot it too well the last match. Okay, this is... The, a lot of these things should run Tailwind. Three of these things should run Tailwind, so I do need Talon Flame in the back to do something late game. Um, I think because they're probably going to lead something with Goldengo, I might just want to get an immediate Tailwind with Talon Flame and then threaten a super effective attack. And then... Maybe bring in hands. Yeah, I think Talon Flame Hands is a good lead here. And then I'll just bring Water Rain plus Bundle in the back. Okay, bring in the Talon Flame in hands. They bring in D-Knight and Fluttermane. Let's get the Tailwind. Let's get the Fake Out. Wait, Fake Out? Are they like, <gasps> they're Inner Focus? They're Inner Focus. Dragon Light. I guess Inner Focus could be good. Uh, okay. Oh, it's Terra Fairy and then Shadow Ball this thing. And then I need to Belly Drum. Yeah, I'm gonna Belly Drum. And then hopefully Citra Fairy heals me well enough. And if they Terra Normal, the Dragonite. Oh, they're protecting with the Fluttermane. That means that they're not attacking something else, so. I'm gonna mean, Ice Spinner does. does Ice Spinner does a lot there. Um. I think I'm gonna, is Trick Room gonna help me here? I think Trick Room's gonna help me. Trick Room and then Drain Punch the Dragonite. E Speed does KO. D Gleam does not KO, so I think I could, oh wait, did a lot of good damage there. Let's bring in Bundle. Let's bring in Bundle here and let's, I'm gonna Hydro Pump this thing. I'm just going to Hydro Pump and a Thunder Punch. That's my best shot here. <gasps> Hydro Pump misses. Deep Green. Uh, yeah, I think I've lost this. The East Speed does KO. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I was trying to change and not bring Bonnie Goldango that match, but I think it just, um, I, I, it is, that's one of the strongest leads of this team. Uh, so I'm still here Bonnet Goldengo again, um, and I think because this is obviously a Parish Trap team, I think this was in, like, the Orlando or Regionals or something, I think hands could be helpful here, yeah, just in the back, and then I feel like Fluttermane as well, Fluttermane's good as well. Oh, okay, there we go. So, okay, let's see what they eat. Amoongus and Palafin. Okay, 
They did not lead a Paris trap lead. So I'm just gonna Rage Powder into Nasty Plot. <clears throat> this Rage Powder didn't help me here. No, it's only gonna redirect a flip turn. They're, they brought in the Arcanine. I, that's a free spore for me. That's a free spore for me. Safety Doddles? You're serious about safety Doddles? Okay. Or, um. Let's see, let's just Rage Powder into Nasty Plot here. Once again, your safety doddles. I can believe you're not at that. Oi. Oi, yes. I think I, I can, I can, I can believe you forgot that I didn't bring down flame. What do I do here? I'm going to shadow ball and protect. I need this troll dango to stay alive. Oi. No, no, you're. I want to get something out of Doldango. Okay, I'm switching into Iron Hands with that, but that's not going to help me unless I'm going for a double project. If if it works, nope, yeah, fail. Okay, they died from recoil. I think I can still. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, Moon just is so annoying. Uh, that's I can't win this with two things asleep. Okay. You know what? I feel like... Yeah, because of the wrong moon, I'm pretty good for me. Yeah. Okay. We got Rubonic, Goldengo. We got Talonflame, Iron Hands. Okay. Rage Powder, Nasty Pot. I put this in the same spot so I could just double tap for my most used move. Oh wait, they do get a very powerful Drain Punch off, and they do get Priority Tailwind there. But, I think it's still at Speed Hands. No, if they're max speed hands, I do have speed them. But I don't think they're na max speed hands. Oh, so we're switching to Eurydice. I don't care about the Intimidate. Intimidate really made to come back, actually, at, like, the end of Series 1. Oh, yes. The Rubon's main purpose is to let Doldango set up. So, I'm happy that it died. I'm just going to Tailwind. And then Terra, Steel, Make It Rain. I'm immune to their doing punches. Oh, should I tear up? No, I don't think I should tear up, actually. Tailwind, and then just ready to make it rain so that I stay immune to their drain punches. This is a good 50% to Gyarados. Waterfall, one shot, Talon Flame. You're telling me Waterfall, one shot, Talon Flame? It's okay, it's okay. I got a 2.5x special attack. Gold Dango, I can totally win this year. Oh, wait. A Terra Fairy D Lame and Make It Rain here. If Roaring Moon doesn't Terra, I'm getting a double KO here, and I've won. Oh, yeah, I'm switching into Town Flame. Terra Ground, Terra Fairy. Oh, EQ does a double KO. Okay, okay. That's fine. Next match. Okay. Bye, Sharp here. Um, you know, we're just Bonnet, Gold Dango, Talon Flame, and Water Main is good here. Because this is, like, this is a Trick Room team, I think. No, if they're leading with a Trick Room setter, then, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, let's see. Dragon Bolt, so they're not le so they're leading in fast mode. Okay, let's go for Rage Powder, Nasty Blood.
Wait, it's a fake out? I should have Terra ghosted. Power Herb. Phantom Force Dragapult. Oh, wait. What's Rage Powder? And now is the time to Terra Steel Make It Rain. I was wondering about the applications of Power Herb, though, so guess that answers that. Phantom Force and, you know, Bounce or whatever. Oh, wait, Darts? Oh, wait, yes, because it's Rage Powder, Darts hits that both times. Close Dome, it does take you that, so... Oh, and they're lower special defense, so I think if they're Sash, Palmot. Resisted Sash, okay. So that means I should bring in Talonflame here. You know, if I can get... Oh, wait, the Bringing Dardanacle. The Bringing Dardanacle. Dardanacle's weak to my steel moves. Oh, the Tailwind make it rain. Tailwind make it rain. Make it rain's definitely gonna tail Palmot. And because I have to be the Dardanacle and about plus one, I should do over 70% Dardanacle, if not one shot. And if I one shot the Dardanacle, um, then I am ahead by a Pokemon. Assuming they hit KO the Doldango. If they don't KO the Doldango, I win. Wide guard. Wide guard, seriously. Oh, wait, wide guard. That's. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. It's not like. Oh, wait, that double shock, you know, like. Hit one time and KO'd the Talon Flame. Not twice. Uh. I'm gonna try Shadow Ball into the Palmot, and then again make it rain. If we're gonna wide guard, then I KO the Palmot and get a free KO. And if not gonna wide guard, then hopefully I KO Darden Ackle and KO the Palmot in the process. Oh, it's our grass. That means the make it rain isn't super effective. But at least it should do a good chunk. 72%. It was over 70%. Salt Cure can't kill me. Yeah, Salt Cure does kill. But still, it's a 2v1 Eye of Tailwind. The best thing they can have is by Sharp. Okay, yeah, by Sharp. You know, um... I'm gonna have to D-Dweam and hope that their steel move doesn't kill me. Yeah, that, you know what, that's... No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Next match. Okay, okay, Don Dojo team. And then you also have Tusk, Talonflame. So... I don't think I'm gonna be leading, uh, Brubonic plus Goldango. I think Goldango plus Hands. And then... Having Talonflame in the back is a good idea, and then having Groupon in the back to deal with Dondoso. It's gonna be tough to Talonflame, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Terra Steel Make It Rain immediately and get a Fate Out onto Tusk. That way, with my Fate Out, Tusk can't move for this turn, and Make It Rain should KO Great Tusk and do some decent damage to Talonflame. Especially since I Terra Steel to boost the damage. And because I broke, hopefully I broke, um, the Sash on Great Tusk, then I'm good. Yeah. And then next turn, I could just, uh, Belly Drum with the Iron Hands and maybe Nasty Plot with Dual Mango. Oh, it's their Terra into ground. Big Out goes up. Will Wisp does go up, I now I wish I, I didn't, now I wish I Terra fired, but it's fine. You're telling me I don't get a tail onto that? That, okay. Let's just, um, make it rain into... I'm just gonna put into Talonflame because I'm expecting a ground tech move. Just don't one shot. Don't ah, oh, come on! It one shot stole Dango. At least now I get a free switch. I guess. Um, I wish I had a priority move right now. Um, I'm just gonna pollen puff great tusk and 
Oh wait, what am I talking about? I have Priority Brave Bird. Which I just spore the Talon Flame and Priority Brave Bird Great Tusk. Oh, and they're gonna switch into Bundle. Priority Brave Bird does 56%, although now it's not Priority Brave Bird anymore. Spore goes into Talon Flame. Will Wisp Talon Flame is super annoying. Um and then let's just get another Brave Bird off. Rage Powder. Freeze Dry is super effective there. But the Town Flame does stay asleep and Brave Bird does KO. This is great. This is great. I'm doing pretty well here. Okay, so we know that they're not bringing Dundos and Tatsugiri. I'm gonna Spore and Tailwind. Spore to make sure that this thing goes to sleep. And what's the Tailwind? Yes, okay, I move first. Spore, spore does. Just don't wake up. Oh, Lumberry King Gambit. That is new. That is new to me. Um. Boy, I'm just gonna fake out into Elvis. Okay, they protect, so that means the Talon Flame gets will probably wake up. No, still asleep. But Fake Out doesn't help anymore, so I'm just gonna Belly Drum and Flare Blitz. You know, I think I actually did a tail onto King Gambit here. And if I'm able to get the KO onto King Gambit, and I get a Belly Drum up, like if Tom Flame stays asleep another turn, okay, don't get the KO, and they wake up. I think a lot of stuff is going wrong here, but Citrus Berry does activate. Hopefully, I don't die to something. Hellcock Cleave does kill Talon Flame. I'm gonna drain punch the thing. Although burn is, they protect. They get a brave bird. I, 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 I just somehow don't think that I'm gonna win this. Yeah, because the brave bird is gonna kill me here. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. So, Bonnie Goldengo, Bundle Flutter Main. Yeah. Okay, Grimshaw and Rotom. Module Dingo, let's raise powder into Nasty Plot. They tear a steel, fake out, they flinch. Nasty Plot. Hopefully they're not oh they're getting a super effective shadow ball onto me. Should have tear steeled. Um can't do anything about it now, so, so let's just pollen puff and then tear a steel into Make it rain. Yes, Terra Steel. Sucker Punch does KO here. I think with the Make it rain, if I. Yeah, I'm not KOing the Rotom there. With the Will Whispering group on it, they're not getting another Shadow Ball. Pollen Buff. Boy, let's Pollen Buff into Shadow Ball. Boy, Citrus Berry, Thunderbolt, Heal with Pollen Puff. So I think it was very hard to tell because of its defensive typing with, with, when paired with something spamming Pollen Puff. So I'm just gonna. Boy, what am I doing? Nasty plotting. If they would just double target into Doldango, they would easily kill it. Boy, I'm just gonna Wraith Powder and then. Get a very powerful nature rain off. Wait, what? Are they like safety dodgles or something? Safety dodgles, drum snarl? <gasps> they survive on 3%. Well, at least they're thunderbolting the brute bonnet. Oh, Sizer comes out. 
let's rage powder, and let's use make it rain. Make it rain will definitely take out Rotom. Hopefully, it'll all do some decent damage to Scythor, and I know that they will. Oh, boys, they're protecting with that rage powder, make it rain. KO the Lord of Mosh. Get another turn of Rage Powder, I guess. Boy, they're bringing in Tusk. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Rage Powder, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Pr I'm gonna I think, actually, I'm just gonna Spore Tusk and Protect. Because if they're actually targeting into the Goldengo... Oh, no, they're targeting into Brew Bonnet. Okay. I, I just want to definitely die. So I know that they they obviously will have bullet punch on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just freeze dry tusk and make it rain. Wait, bullet punch does not KO iron bundle. Super effective critical hit there. Make it rain should KO great tusk. I do KO great tusk. It's just Cycle now. There, I don't think there's anything they can do. Bullet Punch. Not very effective. Freeze Dry will K. Oh, not, doesn't K, but they're frozen. That's funny, that's funny. Anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe. And it makes my day when you like or subscribe.